Hi everybody, welcome back to Melanoma 101 presented by Aim at Melanoma. My name is Melissa Wilson and my goal for Melanoma 101 is to really talk through the topics of melanoma from early detection all the way through diagnosis and treatment in really bite-sized pieces to help you better understand. If you enjoy these videos, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Today in Melanoma 101, we're gonna talk about early detection. Now, early detection is one of the most important parts of this melanoma journey. And part of the reason is through prevention and early detection, we can really catch these melanomas in their earliest stages. Now, why is that important? Well, when we catch melanomas that are extremely thin, we know that these melanomas tend to lead to less morbidity and less death. The survival rates for early stage melanomas are much higher than those at later stage. And I know that cutaneous and ocular and mucosal melanoma are very different. So today our topic is really gonna be the early detection of cutaneous or skin melanomas. So as I said before, the skin melanomas can be detected by looking at the skin. So one of the most important expert tips is seeing a dermatologist or a medical care provider to do a regular skin exam at a regular interval. So what would that be? Well, we recommend that at puberty, which is when genetically most people stop making moles, that they start getting regular skin exams at least annually. Now, there are some exceptions to this, um, and that includes folks that have dysplastic nevus syndrome, where they're continuing to make moles for the rest of their life. They really should have closer skin examinations um, routinely about every six months. Patients that have a history of melanoma obviously will need a little bit closer interval um, for detection of secondary um, and other primary melanomas. But really for the most part, one annual routine skin exam a year is a great start. Now, what else can we do to help prevent it? Melanoma also, because you are the person who sees your skin every single day, doing skin examination is one of the most second most important things. So you may not know whether something is atypical, dysplastic, if it's a basal cell, if it's a melanoma, if it's a squamous cell, it doesn't matter. You see your skin every single day, so you're the best person to monitor for change. So anything that is new, anything that is darkening or lightening, anything that has a funny border that didn't have one before, if there's something that is raised that previously was flat, all of these things, all of these changes that we experience in the skin, there's no better person to examine yourself than yourself. So how often should you do skin exams? Really, doing a self-exam once a month is probably a good benchmark. Do we have to look at our skin every single day? Well, you do, but you don't have to do this self-examination um, every day. This is something that, along with self-breast examination and for men, testicular examinations, that we should be doing on ourselves once a month. This is another added detection method that really can help prevent the diagnosis of deeper melanomas because once you notice change, the best thing to do is call your doctor. So really self-examinations play a humongous role in helping prevent deeper melanomas. You wanna also ask for help. So I don't know about you, but when I'm trying to do my self-examination, my head doesn't swivel all the way around to look at my backside. So asking your husband or wife or partner friend, um, whoever you feel most comfortable to help you look at the places that are maybe a little bit harder to see, like the back of your neck, your back, uh, the backs of your legs. You can also do things like get a mirror, um, take photos um, of yourself, you know, prop your phone up and take a picture of your back and then take a look at it um, that way. So there's lots of ways that you can self-examine parts of your body that are a little bit more difficult. And we'll talk about that in our self-examination video as well. Um, but again, the most important thing is looking for change on the skin. One of the other really expert tips that I can share with you is taking photos. So I can't tell you how many times that we have had patients come into our office after diagnosis that have said, you know, I noticed that there was this mole that was changing on my arm in these photos, and that's really what led to the diagnosis. So if there is something on your skin that doesn't seem to be exactly normal or you think is funny looking, one of the best tips that I can give you is to really take a photo of it, um, whether or not it's 
a great photo, it doesn't matter because really photography of moles, both in a professional setting where you do something called mole mapping, which is where they take really detailed photos of all the moles on your body, or your amateur videos and photos that you take in your own home, they really can help to monitor for change, especially in folks that have you know dozens and dozens of moles and makes it a little bit harder to follow. So taking photos is one of um, one is one of my expert tips uh, to help you monitor these moles for change on your own. I really hope that this video has helped you with some information about early detection. If you have questions, please reach out to me on the Ask an Expert line um, through AIM at Melanoma's website. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again real soon.